Hello, everyone. This festival isn't for fussy eaters, since you'll have to share a plate with 1,000 other people. They needed 1.5 tons of ingredients to make this dish. Would you give it a try? I don't think Michelin inspectors would like how clean that kitchen is, but I bet looks can be deceiving and his food is incredible. Check out another extreme dish from Thailand, a roasted crocodile. If you want to cut calories, take a look at this cooking method. Instead of oil, the cook uses hot sand or salt. The food gets even crispier than with oil. It looks like a rock, but it's actually a huge pile of meat. I... <laughs> Hope this guy isn't planning on eating it all alone. Yes, you're seeing right. He's dipping dough into this broth with his bare hands. That's how pan puri is made. Some people might pass, but others line up around the block for this tasty treat. Thank you. 
While this drink looks really tasty, I don't want to think about how many calories are in it. India is known for its unique street food. But you probably haven't heard about this dish. It's perfect for those who crave that extra spicy kick. This guy is making any kid's dream come true by pouring everything he can think of into the jug. Judging by his excitement, he knows what he's doing, so the drink is probably delicious. Thai street food markets are unlike any other you've seen. That's why only the bravest dare to go there and eat a few bugs. This guy doesn't feel heat at all. How else can you explain him touching hot oil without getting burned? It seems some people can control the elements. Luckily, he decided to use his powers for cooking. You've probably made scrambled eggs at least once because it's easy, but cooking the same dish on the streets of India is definitely not for the lazy. clear why the chef makes so much. He has to feed a lot of people. The great thing about the Indian jalebi dessert is that you don't need an oven or a piping bag. Just make sure your hands stay steady. These guys kept it simple and cooked a big batch at once, selling it bit by bit all day. By the way, they also decided to skip the plates and serve it in a bag to go.
You'll be surprised when I tell you what they're making. This is how some kinds of sugar are produced. Before it becomes neat little blocks, this is what it looks like. Notice how many people it takes to lift one pan. It's not easy. Some people won't even stop at this stall and try to steer clear of it. But seafood lovers will probably be drooling at the sight of these octopuses and squids. This man is a pro at multitasking. He's both the cook and the driver. Great idea for a street food spot. Order your meal and they'll drive you anywhere while you eat. This driver deserves 10 stars out of 5. You need to be a very skilled chef to make a show out of something simple like boiling noodles. I bet these are several meters long. While some places offer ice cream or crepes as street food, in Thailand, you can try different kinds of insects. They say they taste like nuts. Watch the process the dough goes through before it turns into delicious Japanese mochi cakes. We found the perfect dish for perfectionists. Take a look at the smooth ball the chef made from that piece of dough. You might think this is a scorpion-shaped dessert, but since these pictures are from Thailand, you should know it's a real animal. This cook wanted to make rice look different and gave it a wave-like shape. It's cool, but not many can do it on their first try. This man's not joking when he says his watermelon juice is 100% natural.
At this spot, every topping on the burger is worth your money. Look at all the stuff the chef puts in. One of these burgers could easily be your lunch and dinner. If you can even finish it. <laughs> These pros are making a famous Uzbek dish known as plov. It's no easy task, but they make it seem breezy. How many do you think they can serve? You've seen meat cooked on a spit, but have you seen a cake made that way? That's how shakotis is made. Its name means tree cake in Lithuanian. This dessert gets its name from its odd shape, which happens when the dough drips down and forms bumps that look like tree branches. It's a kebab like no other. This big pan of fish cakes on a stick will make the seller lots of money, as it's a popular street food snack in Korea. They'll sell faster than they were cooked. These snacks are called takoyaki and are really popular in Japan. They're filled with seafood that locals love. You wouldn't guess there's octopus inside, would you? Just by looking at the color of the bowls, I can tell how spicy this sauce is. And no, washing the dishes each time won't make the noodles taste as good. Some street foods aren't meant to fill you up, but to get you to try something different, like this guy grilling cactus. A little disclaimer. Just in case, no matter what you've seen here, don't grill your house plants. If you've been to India, you might have tried this kind of bread without even knowing it. This guy is so good that he measures ingredients by sight, taking into account what's going to spill outside the glass. There aren't any strict rules about cleaning the chef's table here. Uh, 
Here's a really refreshing dessert that this guy made with his bare hands. Literally. Not sure everyone would be willing to try it. Kutluma is a popular street food made of dough and different spices, mostly red chili peppers. Only real spicy food fans can enjoy this dish. By the way, with a bit of effort, you can make it at home. This man has been selling the popular Dahi Vada snack for 30 years. It's fried lentil balls soaked in yogurt with various spices. Sounds pretty healthy, right? And it costs less than a dollar. Just by adding a few sauces, tofu becomes a dish packed with flavor. Don't be tricked by this strawberry jello. What you're seeing is actually pig's blood used to make a popular soup in China. Some find it gross, others think it's a tasty treat. You probably wouldn't buy a regular potato on the street, but what if it looked like this? What a smart sales tactic! Before noodle makers were invented, someone smart thought of pushing the dough through a sieve. is a popular dish in India. To make it, you soak chickpeas for hours, boil them, and add spices. I think not all stomachs can handle this food adventure. Almost everything here is edible and tasty. It's even better when you eat with your hands. But the first time, I'd wait for others to start to know how to do it.
In this video, it's not about the chef's looks, but how he turns simple cotton candy into amazing art. These aren't your average crepes, they're super crepes. In the hands of a less skilled cook, it would quickly turn into a mess of batter. But this guy makes amazing dishes with ease, and every time it looks like a masterpiece. True coffee lovers know that in Turkey, this energizing drink is made on hot sand. Before you comment on hygiene, think if you really care about the cook wearing gloves when it's 40 degrees Celsius out and you just want to cool off. Now this ice cold lemonade looks really tempting, doesn't it? Sometimes being a good cook means being a skilled artist, too. Comment below, which character would you request? I wonder how many extra slices you'd have to order to get that much pepperoni on your pizza. Those who find mango boring should hit the streets of China and give this dish a try. People in the comments say it's delicious, but eating this unusual flour without making a mess is practically impossible. Fried ice cream isn't just delicious, it's also quite a sight. Here's a cooking tip, you can make duck meat even juicier by cooking it inside a melon. 